Hello, my name is Hugh and today I'm going to be correcting uh, faces. So I'm going to be smoothing skin, get rid of spots and blemishes, things like that, wrinkles that you might not think are there or are relevant to the editing of an image, but are, it's very relevant. So today we have got this image of my cousin Lily. We were out shooting and knotting with her friend as well. This one's a good one. This one I've shot slightly closer. So there are more spots in her face that are more obvious. For example, here, she's asked me to get rid of them. So I said, that's fine, not a problem. Uh, so we're gonna drag the image in. It's a DNG file, Photoshop Raw. So we brought it in. And the first thing we're gonna do is here, drag it, make it, make it a duplicated file. Now we're editing the raw file as it is. We're not gonna get rid of spots in Lightroom because Photoshop does a slightly better job, I think, um, of getting rid of blemishes and spots like this as opposed to Lightroom. It's just quicker and it just, it just does a better job. And then once we do this, we're gonna export it into Lightroom and then fix up the color corrections. Now we don't wanna do this after or at the same time really as Lightroom doing color corrections. We wanna make sure that we get rid of them first and treat it as if on the day her face was clean without spots. No offense to you, Lily. But um, she asked me, asked me to get rid of them, so here I am. We've just duplicated the images here and we're making sure that the top layer is, um, the, well, obviously if it's on the top, we're gonna to be editing that layer as it's the active layer, making sure the opacity and the fill are on 100. So pressing, um, J now, which is the spot healing tool. We're going to go into here, just have a look at some of the options. Healing brush tool, patch tool, content aware, move tool, red eye tool. We're not using any of these today. We're just using the basic spot healing brush tool. So we're going to press F twice, bring up the full, make sure, make use of the, the screen, see what we've got going on. And we're just going to make sure here, using the brackets left and right, left and making it smaller, right, making the, the tool spot brush tool bigger um, and we're going to make sure that the actual pixels are pressing Z which is the zoom tool actual pixels to get the full real estate of the image we don't want to go in any close closer than that we don't need to so back to J again and here we're just going to get rid of some of these spots making the tool big enough so that the tool knows um, in its surrounding what best color and tone to pick out to best fix the, the spot per se. We're just going to get rid of all these obvious ones, not too worried about the shine of the image, of uh, the shine on her face, don't worry about that. We'll, we'll correct that through editing, you know, filters and looks uh, of the image. And what you can do here is with the contents aware tool is this big, you know, these couple of wrinkles on her forehead, nothing to be worried about, but we're just going to get rid of them and see if the Mac knows what it's doing. Yeah, Photoshop's not done a pretty bad job of that. We're not going to worry about that too much because we're going to sharpen, smooth, ISO, fix that one. If there's a bit of grain, there obviously is grain in the image. So we're going to fix that. We're going to add a bit of grain to give it a look, bit of, give it an aesthetic. Uh, so we're not going to worry too much about making sure that her face is really, really uh, high standard. But with this tool, we can actually make it look really, really professional. Now, if you wanted to, I could, I could just get the whole tool because there are, she's got obviously, you know, some imperfections, one might say, but not actually imperfections in her face. Her face is, and her skin is absolutely fine. But if I say, look, I want to get rid of this and make it all smooth. Let's say I can do this and the computer is going to have a go at getting rid of this. It's going to look a bit fake and obviously Photoshop thinks that it needs that in there for some reason and it's made it look grey and discoloured so Command Z, I'm going to get rid of that and just get rid of the more obvious ones we can fix up things that we might want to get rid of properly later on Stuff like this here, we can have a go at getting rid of the bigger ones Okay 
making my tool bigger, having a look. These bigger spots. I think we've done a pretty good job so far. It might look a bit obvious if I zoom in here. You might be able to see that here, for example, I've made and made use of the tool. Um, and it's a bit more grey and, you know, less shiny because that's where the light has hit her forehead. And obviously before we've not got as many spots here, so we haven't corrected it. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to worry about this too much. Because again, we're going to be uh, looking at the next section, which is uh, colour correction. We're gonna um, we're gonna use exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows, a bit of clarity, desaturation, bring up the vibrance, all of that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna zoom out again. Z, right click, actual pixels, back to J. So I think I've done as much as I want to do so far. I'm going to zoom out, Z, uh, fit to screen. That looks really good. Let's compare to what we had about five minutes ago. Here we go, uh, F. Let's do actual pixels again, just so we can have a look closely. So before, after, before and after. I've got rid of the majority of these and we're not worried about, for example, here, let's have a look at before, after, before and after. These, this, these are the pores in her skin. This is natural complexion and I'm not going to make it look fake. I'm going to make it look natural when I edit. I'm going to add a little bit of grain. I'm going to add sharpness as well as smoothing. So this, they both pair together in Lightroom, next step, together really nicely. So let's zoom out. Fit. On the screen nice uh, I've just noticed a midriff here let's have a look and see if there's any, anything that we might want to look at honestly no I'm going to fix this during um, Lightroom great now let's export this file we're going to press shift command s on Photoshop I want to say this is a DNG again um, I'm happy with Lightroom dealing with the DNG Eight, oh, yeah, eight seven copy and then uh, spot here dot d and g digital negative. Well, let me save. No, I'm gonna keep it as a first shot. PSD. I'm happy with that. No problem. Save that. Great, and I'm going to head over to Lightroom. I've already edited it here. I'm not going to show you quite yet. That's my finished final colour edit as well. I'm just doing this for um, video purposes. Bring it into Lightroom. Let's 
Let's see, I've saved it where I've actually wanted to save it, yeah. This is the one port. So once we've gone into Lightroom now, uh, we've selected it. We're going to head over to develop, which is the editing part of the program. Now you just see me, I've changed the brightness to the top because it's quite bright in here. So normally when I edit, you edit in a dark room with no tungsten or blue lights hanging about whilst you're editing. This is the actual brightness that I'd edit at, but I, for the sake of being in quite a bright room, I need it. I need to see what I'm doing. So pressing I gets rid of all this yarn. Great. Now this video is purely uh, skin smoothing, get rid of blemishes and spots. So we're not going to do any colour filters, looks, aesthetics to the image. We're just going to fix up the uh, uh, the spots primarily. So we're going to zoom in again to one to one ratio. Uh, what's the first thing that we do? Let's put it to fill so we can actually see all of her face. Okay, let's go up. Let's just do here. Let's just do this. Okay, let's just do her forehead while we're here. So the first thing that I do is you want to add, as weird as it might seem, a bit of grain because it gives it it gives it a filmic look and it gives it a contemporary look as well. My Mac's having a bit of problem dealing with the intensity of the tax, task of just importing a photo, so I'm having to free up some of the RAM. Um, oh yeah, let's zoom back out again. Correcting the the lens profile. Canon. That's eighteen to doesn't have my Canon. Right. Zoom in. Right. What I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna add a little bit of grain here. I normally do twenty to thirty. As you can see, it's, it looks it makes it look sharp, but at the same time, adding grain gets rid of the look of spots as well. We're not going to add a crazy amount, just a little amount. 21 is fine. And while, while we're at this zoom length, we're going to sharpen it up as well. Not too much because it makes her face look too... It looks pixelated when you do too much sharpness. So I'll just do about... I'm going from zero to the amount I want to maybe put it out just to compare the difference between the highest and the lowest. So. I think maybe quite low, maybe just 20, 24 is fine. And we're going to add some noise reduction because before we've done any of this, 21, 24, that there is a little bit of noise here. And I know it might seem contradictory to reduce noise, but then add grain, but it's, it's forced and it's on purpose. So I, I want it to have that look. You also, by putting noise reduction in, I'm smoothing the image. So that makes sense, right? Because we're smoothing the face. Great, I'm okay with this now. Let's check it out. Now what you might think is that, yeah, but you can still see lots of things like, it looks better, but you can still see bits like darkened bits where spots have been covered, tried to be covered up by makeup highlights, um, you know, lumps and bumps here. Great, well, this is the next stage that we're gonna try and fix this out. So zoom back in, let's just use the forehead while we're here. Again, I'm gonna to go to the brush tool in Lightroom. Run brush tool, skin smooth. So that is the option. I've got a load of different uh, toggles here I can choose from, but the one um, I have downloaded, I've managed to download some of my own presets here. I've got basic ones that Lightroom give you, and then I've downloaded these other ones. You've got Skin Smooth, Skin Smooth, Skin Smooth Plus, Skin Smooth Plus Plus. That's going to make it look really fake if I do this for an example. Let's have that off. 
it makes it look too, and you might not be able to see it there, but it's too much, too much. So let's just get rid of that by right click on the dot where you first started and delete. So we're gonna to go to skin smooth, it's natural. And if we want to add it, we can here. So skin smooth, which is there. We wanna tick this off because we want to know where we've been, where we've been editing. Uh, we're gonna make it big, we're gonna make it quite big. And the way that I do this on faces is I wanna see the whole face, put it in the middle. And I'm just gonna go over her whole face. Not worried about the size of the feather, Actually, yeah, we can actually make that about 58, that's good. Just go over her whole face. It might seem a bit odd at the moment. But what we'll do, we'll minus out these red spots, red places that we've done. Okay, over everything. Try and cover as much as you can on her face. And I'm going to do her neck as well, smooth out her neck. Now, as you can see here, I've gone over a little bit. So pressing Alt on a Mac gets rid of where you've just gone. Great, and I've gone a bit over here on her hair. Don't worry too much about being uh, too finessed about this because it doesn't need to be. And this is what I'm doing, and it's fine. Okay, great. Let's zoom into the uh, top of her head here. So now we're going to minus out the places that we don't want smooth out, like the eyes. Definition in the nose because when you focus the camera it focuses wants to focus on the eyes But in that planar field you do get the nose in focus So we want to make sure that that nose is sharp and it's not been completely um, Rubbed out to make yourself look like an alien Making the, um, the Size of the minus tool quite big because we want to get we've zoomed in quite a lot here Just getting rid of it now definition in there and what we'll do again here is, is we'll clean up the eyes, make the eyes a bit more brighter. We're in a dark alleyway here, so we'll be fixing up the lightness and things like that here. And you want to make sure that you get the eyelashes as well, because they're, they're quite sharp and clean. You don't want to rub those out. Making the tool smaller again. And we can see where the eyebrows are. It might be a bit difficult to guess where they are, but they are there behind. Making the tool a bit smaller, so we can get to the more bits there. Looks like we've gone onto the skin there, so we're just going to make this tool a bit smaller. Let me just go over the skin again, nicely. I think we've got a bit more, oops, you know, I think we've got a bit more eyebrow here, so I'm just going to check that out. And again, here, let's talk a bit bigger. Come on. Wow, look at those eyebrows, fantastic. <laughs> well, it might look a bit odd at the moment, but this is all for a good cause. Go down to my nose. Let's make the tool a bit bigger. Just go over the main part of the clarity of the nose, which is the nostrils. And this is the skin, which has got some blemishes on as well, so we don't, we're not worried if we smooth that. And the last thing that we do on the face for me is the lips. Right to the corners, make sure we get the corners, because if you blur out the corners, it looks quite odd. And I've learned that through doing this a few times. I've rubbed out a bit much there, so we're just going to make the plus tool a bit smaller. Right up to the edges. And I'll make the feathered a bit, maybe 50. You can actually type the number that you want it at. Just going over a bit. I need to be a bit more careful. Great. Happy. Let's zoom out. See if we've got everything. Now, for example, when while we're here, we can go down to here and... Oops, where are we going? One-on-one. -on -one. Zoom up. So she's got skin. Well, while we do this, we're going to untuck this, and it's see you see here how it's smoothed out. Might not be as obvious, 
but we have actually smoothed out the skin here and it still looks a bit sharp and a bit noisy, which is fine. We're going to correct that. Here are the options of the Skin Smooth Tool preset that we have. And we can actually adjust this. We've still got it selected. We're going to minus out all the sharpness and it's going to make it a lot more smooth. Now you might not have been able to see that, but let's put the sharpness all the way up. And it's made it quite contrasty and sharp, obviously. So let's bring it down and minus that right off to bring the sharpness away. Because after this, we're going to add more sharpness to the whole image to phase out the look between the, uh, the tool that we've just used and the image. And the noise as well, we want to add, let's minus that off, let's see how it looks. Okay. No, we're going to keep that where it was. It's, oops, it is. We're going to keep that where it was. It was fine. Great. One last tool that has changed is clarity. Uh, clarity enhances the definition. So if we put that up, see what it looked like. Oh dear, not very good. <laughs> let's bring it all the way down. Let's just see how it looks. It was there before, wasn't it? Let's go to the face and have a look at what we're doing. Now, do you see how it's worked? Do you see how well this tool, Skin Smooth, has worked? Let's get, let's put more clarity just to see. Yeah, the definition. I'm going to get rid of all that clarity. So it does look a, it's a bit more fake there, but we're going to maybe make clarity tool there because there is still light and shadows on the face. And again, we can fix this through the actual color and the light correction of the image. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. Let's see if we can compare the imported image and the edited image. Pressing Y, and you can compare that. Wow, fantastic. Let's zoom in a bit. Now, it's done a really good job here. It got rid of all these blemishes. They've completely disappeared. And the way that I've edited it has meant that at the same time, light, when you put clarity on the image, you add definition of light. And I'm minusing off clarity here and gets rid of that. But at the same time, keeping just a little bit, make sure that you do have light, shadow still on the brushed areas of this selection tool. Wow, it's done a really good job of smoothing out things, you know, slight bits of hairs on the skin here. Wow, it's really done a fantastic job. And we still want the nose here and the lips to be sharp because we'll be adding a little bit of colour. Again, definition to the face. And you might not like this. You might not like the fact that it has really rubbed out the, the, uh, the difference of the, the chin and the neck. It looks like it sort of rolls into one. So this is something to take note of. Let's see if we can edit this. So show where we've been selecting. Make the tool slightly bigger. Oops. Just where this, just where the jaw and the neck meet, we can sort of get rid of this. We can see more of the definition of the face. Let's just get rid of that, so we can see what we've done. Not sure about this. Let's redo it again. What this means is that what the the editing that I've done over here has been a bit too much and that's fine this is why we're doing it so we can see how much editing we want to do deselect that I'm going to bring some of that sharpness back and the clarity you see that the clarity of the neck now comes back keep it there smooth that out just a touch great a bit more definition now so let's zoom out I think we've done a really good job today so far. Great. So let's do one last area while we're still in the tool. We've still got the, uh, still got the brush tool selected. Um, actually, I just went off of it and then back onto it. And now we need to select it again just to make sure we're working on the same tooled um, preset tool. I'm going to zoom in to let's get rid of this Y. Oops, Daisy. Press the space, drag. A hermedriff here. We can smooth. We can smooth this out. So I think we're gonna have a go at this. Again, making the tool brush tool bigger. Just doing a general once over. Pressing the minus, which is Alt, holding down Alt while we smooth out. Pressing the bracket tool while we hold the Alt. Oops, wrong one. 
that back here, plus some old, just cleaning up the edges in case I've gone over. The tool does a pretty good job of understanding that the area that you want to select only to brush over that tool. For example, that's light, that's light, and that's dark. So if I've accidentally gone over the here, you'll know not to do that, which is quite helpful. Let's just deselect that and see if we're happy with the smoothing. It might be a bit much, and it probably is. It looks too blurry, but it's still in the same plane of field of focus as her face. So what we'll do, we'll add more sharpness now. So press done, we're finished with that for now. I'm gonna add sharpness which is all the way at the top here. It might seem a bit counterproductive to do this, but what we're doing is we're getting rid of blemishes, uh, light distortion, um, light, the way the light hits, it gives it shadows. And um, we're smoothing out the skin, getting rid of those blemishes, and then we're adding sharpness back to the area. Fine, I'm happy with that. Let's zoom in just to make sure. Oops, hold down that drag. how much sharpness we want to put in. Probably about there. Great. So this is the last part now. We're going to compare the work that we've done on the face mm -hmm. to the uh, rest of the image. So make it fill up the page. And what we did beforehand, which we could have left till afterwards, is the grain and the sharpness. So if I get rid of what we've done here, which is the grain, noise, and the sharpness of the image, if you zoom into the face, it looks way, way too obvious, what we've just done. Look at that, it's really blurred out, really blurred out every, everything that I've selected. It looks awful and fake. And you can see that. That's why I put these sharpness noise and a bit of grain on beforehand so I could see that it looked natural. So now that we've, we've compared the work that we've done, we're going to add that grain again, which hazes the, uh, the contrast between the sharpness and the grain in her face here. Add that grain back in. We're nearly there. Pushing some of the sharpness to give clarity and now add in some noise reduction, which reduces the noise all over the whole of the image. How much do we want to get rid of? Not too much, because it's still what we want to have in focus. Fine, that's really great. We're gonna give this a little bit more grain because we are putting a filmic effect on the edit. And that looks absolutely, for me, fantastic. And that's how I edit skin smoothness get rid of get rid of gets rid of blemishes all things like that so thank you very much for watching this video and stay tuned for more